I wish that I was surprised when companies did really dumb things, especially companies like Twitch. They always seem to be part of controversies, they are always doing the opposite of what people really want, but things like this don't phase me anymore. Whenever I hear Twitches in the news, I'm not surprised by anything that happens anymore. Now, I always seem to be talking about the platform, and even though I personally do not use it, I do not like the platform, I'm glad that it exists for the people who want to create their content there. I'm glad that people have another place to, you know, create content and uh, do the things they love, play the games they love, just share their opinions on things. But over the past couple of days, Twitch has announced a lot of changes to their platform that a lot of people are not happy with. The first thing they did was add a hot tub pools and swimming category, but now they have announced that they are adding literal race, mental health, and religion tags on Twitch. So I'm going to start off with the tweet thread and then move into the blog post they made. The tweet thread says, we had planned to share this next week, but we've heard a lot of you talking and want to make sure the record is clear. Next week, we will be adding 350 plus new tags to celebrate yourself and your community. Basically, we plan to do this later, but everyone got so angry when they heard there was a hot tub category being added that we had to reveal it ahead of time to take their attention off of that controversy. That's how basically every Everyone is seeing the situation and when we scroll through the comments you're going to see a lot of people are very mad at Twitch because of all of the changes they're making. So they had said we'll have tags related to gender, sexual orientation, race, nationality, uh, ability, mental health, and more. For full details, check out the blog post, and we're going to head over there. It's titled, Celebrate Yourself and Your Community with 350 plus new tags. So it says next week, streamers will be able to select from over 350 new tags related to gender, sexual orientation, race, nationality, ability, mental health, and more. The list of tags include transgender, black, disabled, veteran, and VTuber, among many others. We will also remove references to ally from the LGBTQIA plus tag and are instead creating a standalone ally tag. These additions won't change how tagging works and are completely optional. They simply give creators more choices. Instead of making their platform better, like making sure that people aren't getting unfairly banned or unfairly demonetized, no, no. They focus on dumb things like this. This is their priority out of everything their platform needs to change. They are literally asking creators to describe themselves with tags. Is that right? really what they want to do. This is going to divide people more than bring them together. These are like porn website level tags. On OnlyFans and on porn sites, people are the content, so it makes sense to use tags like this, but on Twitch? Does age, race, sexual preference really matter? No, people should be watched based on their content and not things like their race. I mean, look at the new hot tub category. They basically are saying that people are the content, so it kind of looks like they're headed in the direction of being an OnlyFans. They're creating tags that do define what you watch based on the creator and not their content. It says, why now and what took so long? When we launched tags in 2018, we did so to boost discovery, to help creators describe their content, and to help viewers find streams they're interested in. We intentionally designed that system for creators to be able to describe what they were streaming, not who they were or what they stood for. We have maintained this distinction since that time, and we were wrong? <laughs> when viewers talk about about why they love Twitch, they don't just talk about the content. They talk about the creators, what they care about, and the communities they have built. Um, the only time we ever hear about the communities creators have built is when someone's attacking a Twitch streamer going, oh, your community's so toxic. It says, by expanding tags, we are giving creators more ways to be discovered and viewers more ways to find communities that they want to call home. The exception to the initial design was the LG 
LGBTQIA plus tag, which began as an experiment a few years ago and stayed based on overwhelmingly positive feedback from the community. We loved hearing creators share how it helped grow their community and discovers others like them. Now, adding categories is one thing, but using tags to define the streamer and not the topic or content of the stream is really bad in my opinion. They are using tags to have people mark who they are based on things like race, religion. They are using these almost as the main characteristics of the streamer. Watching a streamer shouldn't be based on their skin color or their nationality. It should be based on their personality and their content, what they have to offer a viewer. Twitch doesn't even have tags for console streamers to separate themselves from PC streamers. This instead is their priority, way streamers can define themselves. They should be creating content-driven tags first. That is so freaking important to the platform. This literally just divides people more based on their race and gender instead of treating everyone like equals. I mean, seriously, did they not see how this could bother people or see how this could divide people? I'm just, I'm baffled that they thought this was the best idea to announce right now when people are very upset with them over the pool and hot tub category. So it says creating a list of new tags. When we made the decision to add these new tags, we wanted to make sure that we were being as inclusive as possible. We've partnered with several independent third-party organizations such as GLAAD, The Trevor Project, Able Gamers, and Special Effect, and other experts focused on the progress of underrepresented racial and ethnic groups, LGBTQIA+, disabled and marginalized communities, and finally, we reached out to members of the Twitch community for their feedback. They nowhere here mentioned talking to their, um safety advisory council that they made a year ago. Another situation that we all completely said was a fake made up group of people just so that Twitch could say, look at us, we're doing stuff. We're going to listen to these members of our community. No, no. They don't mention them here at all because they didn't ask them probably. But it says still we understand that as comprehensive as we have tried to be, we will inevitably miss tags that our community is looking for and we encourage you to share your suggestions via user voice to let us know what else you'd want to see. It's not like they're saying that a streamer is going to go into something like a politics category and go into a subcategory of race relations. That's different. There's nothing wrong with having more categories to differentiate what a streamer is doing or what they're talking about, but to add race tags is pretty different. I want to head over to the Twitter thread for a minute just to show you all the general reaction because there are a few people here who are saying this is a good idea. It's just more options for people, but there are a lot of people who are not happy and a lot of people memeing on the whole hot tub situation um people were saying uh wait 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 twitch has tags does anyone use these literally this is what so many people are saying that there are very few tags on Twitch to use, but no one even cares about tags. No one really uses tags because they don't do anything. Scrolling down, it says, um, notice how the only thing Twitch doesn't address is that they take 50% of our money. They will give you everything you want except what you really need, and that's bread. Someone said, uh, I'm disabled, but tagging my streams as disabled doesn't really feel empowering or whatever you were going for here. I don't want people to find my stream by sorting for disabled streamers. I want them to find it because it's a good stream. Disabled isn't a brand of content. This is so fucking true. This is exactly how people should be reacting. This is such a damn good take. You should be looking for streamers based on their content, the game they're playing, you know, what their, I know Twitch doesn't really have thumbnails, but like what their thumbnail shows, if it shows, you know, the game that you're looking for or the activity you're looking for based on their titles, based on what they have to offer, not because you looked for disabled streamers or because a streamer is disabled. You should be looking for them because of their content and exploring, um, new categories looking for new content. Someone said exactly what I had said. We plan to do this later, but everyone got so angry with the hot tub situation. We had to do it now. 
um, someone named Focus says, will we finally get tags for console streamers to separate themselves from PC streamers? If I want to watch someone play a game on console, it should be an easy search and not spend an hour trying to find someone on that list that is another issue that I had actually brought up. Someone said, hey, remember when you tweeted about stopping Asian hate but banned my friend because his last name and tw his Twitch handle was deemed as inappropriate? If you could just give us a damn answer, it would be amazing. This is what Twitch should be focusing on, making sure users aren't getting unfairly banned, making sure all of their rules are in order, making sure everyone's following their rules and their rules are clear and concise for creators. No, no. Instead, what they're doing is worrying about tags that very few people even knew existed in the first place. No one searches by tags. Not a lot of people care about tags on the platform, but this is their priority. Now, months ago, they literally removed the tag blind playthrough because they said it was too insensitive and offensive. You truly cannot make up the dumb things that Twitch does. I don't know how Twitch thought that this would go over well without any controversy, but these are their priorities. Not worrying about people being unfairly banned or their income being taken away. No, no. They care more about tags creators can use that in the end just divide people more than bring them together. But that's all that I really had to uh, discuss discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.